Hello guys, this is IP Tech Kira and I'm back with another video. Uh, this is going to be another Tech Alert episode and it's going to be about Intel's Broadway E-Line and the recent rumors we got for it and also Nvidia's announcement of the Tesla P100 which is their workstation graphics card but features the full GP100 core. So first we have the Intel's Broadway E so we got a rumor from a German website that said uh, the deck core or the 10 core processor with 20 threads which is going to be uh, uh, Intel's flagship processor and it's going to call it's called the uh, i7-6950X so it's the top flagship extreme edition processor is going to cost $1500 which previous flagship processors cost only a thousand and that I thought that was pretty expensive but this is quite a lot. I know it's going to be a deca core but still it's quite a lot and we also got some other specs and pricings for the other four SKUs of the uh, new Broadway E line so the process in the Broadway E family are gonna be the i7 6800k the i7 6850k the i7 6900k and the i7 6950k which is the top flagship processor so the first one and the six core 12 thread one the 6800k is gonna cost around 450 dollars and it's gonna have six uh, cores and 12 threads the core clock is gonna be 3.4 gigahertz and boost clock 3.6 which is standard with 15 megabytes of l3 cache and the next SKU, the i7 6800k is gonna be about 550 dollars about 3.6 gigahertz base clock and boost clock 3.8 and this is another 612 core and the next uh, process the Intel i7 6900K which is the 8 core 16 thread and the equivalent of today's uh, 5960X uh, it's gonna have a core clock of 3.2 gigahertz which is low but a bit it's 200 megahertz more than the 5960X at the moment and boost clock 3.7 gigahertz which sounds okay and 20 megahertz of L3 cache and it's probably gonna be the one that costs a thousand dollars and the next 6950X is gonna have a core clock of 3 gigahertz which and 10 cores and 20 threads and boost clock of 3.5 gigahertz and 25 megabytes of L3 cache and as I said before it was rumored that the launch price is gonna be $1500 which I think we got rumors like that before uh, it was uh, going around that the uh, the top flagship one might not be a thousand it might be 1500 so i'm not that surprised by it but still that's quite a lot of money i don't know how well it's gonna do but i'll, um, I'll imagine most enthusiasts would want a 10 core 20 thread cpu it should be a beast of a cpu so i'm not surprised they want to charge more and additionally the it's going to be unlocked as usual and it should fit on the lj 2011 v3 motherboards or the x99 chipset as well and the dr3 memory DDR4 memory supported as well uh, but you can check out the full article on TechFrag in the description below but next we have the Nvidia announcing the Tesla P100 so in the press events and um, the GDC 2016 they didn't announce any gaming uh, stuff or any of the actual gaming Pascal cards like that X80 or X80 X70 X80i Titan which was pretty disappointing I was waiting for that announcement but they did announce an Nvidia a Tesla P100 which is their workstation card but it will feature the full gp100 core so we can have sort of an understanding of what's going to happen uh, with the the flagship uh, gaming cards like the titan x or, or 1980 ti equivalent cards like the x80 possibly the top of the line like the titan x should feature these specs close to the p100 so should have 3584 stream processor which is a little bit more than the titan x at the moment about 500 more and i'm presuming that the x80 ti which i'll call it x80 ti because 1080 ti is not the best name i prefer x80 over 1080 ti so the x80 ti possibly could be a cut down version like 3000 stream processor in my opinion which is still quite a lot and the boost and core clocks are quite a lot different from uh previous cards it's 1428 megahertz core clock and boost clock 1480 which is big boost clock of the reference card so i'm assuming that moving down to 40 nanometers and it's improved the efficiency see quite a lot more and it should it's allowed for much bigger boost clocks and much bigger core clocks as well so the memory it's going to feature hbm2 so we might see that in the top end cards as well but those don't won't be i don't think will be released anytime soon they will first uh, release like the x70 and x80 in like the coming months and then probably by the end of the year, if not next year when we're going to see hbm2 cards because I think HPM2 is not really ready for mass production, at least 
Uh, that's what I'm hearing. And they still need to get on the GDDR5X out of the way as well with the X80 and X70. But as you know, the memory bus width is going to be in 4096 bits as it was with the HBM1 cards or the, like the Fury X and Fury. And the memory bandwidth is 72 gigabytes per second, which is a very big amount. And the VRAM is going to be up to 16 gigabytes. So I don't think we see that on the X80 Ti. Uh, we might see like 8 gigabytes or 12 maybe and probably see 16 gigabytes on like the Titan equivalent card. As I said, it's going to feature the GPU on 100 core. Uh, also a transistor account for this one is pretty amazing 15.3 billion transistors which is quite a lot more i think the titan and x80 i think they had like 8 billion or something like that and this is pretty much doubled the transistor count which is quite a lot and the tdp is 300 watts so some very interesting stuff which should indicate what like the flagship gaming card should uh, have i'm expecting the, the titan x card to have these pretty much exact specs that are given here and may and the x80 ti to have like a slightly cut down version of it but it's probably going to perform just the same so very exciting i'm very disappointed they didn't actually announce any gaming cards on the event but we still got some sort of a glimpse at what the top flagship gaming cards are going to be and that's i guess that's enough for now but this is it going to be for the video guys all the links are going to be in the description but if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one